Watch the related video clicking down below to solve this Microsoft question. So when we multiply that, we get nine elements. So if we see here, we have three elements, three elements, three elements, that's nine for every column. Same thing for every row when we go horizontally. So as we have nine rows going horizontally here and nine columns going vertically here, we also have nine rows and columns in here. So for every case, we're always going to be iterating over nine elements. So we could say that for R, that it's going to represent our rows in the range of nine. Let's go ahead and also check the columns. Remember, we're going to have to check rows and columns. These are in a little thing here that would lead to that is the fact that we're dealing with a 2D array, right? An array of array. So the first iteration is going to determine which one of these arrays in here we're going to be checking. The inner loop is going to be inside of those arrays, particularly checking or looking for those numbers. And that's why we need these two indices or indexes to check for these values. So now we're going to say four columns, same nine here. Like and subscribe to support the journey and learn more.